Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am an idiot and I accidentally deleted like the first few clips I recorded of the day, but it was basically just me explaining that it's my birthday weekend and we are prepping for our party. The theme, of course, you guys know I love a theme, is Love Island. We are just setting up and people are coming over later tonight. This is the weekend before my birthday, but of course as an Aries, I have to celebrate as many times as I can. So next weekend for my actual birthday, we are going to Miami. And this weekend is like our party slash house morning with all of our friends since we haven't had anybody over to the new house yet. So I'm so excited. You guys know I love a birthday, I love a theme. So I wanted to take you guys along with the decor and the night because we are pulling out all the motherfucking stuff. And that was pretty much the intro, um, but I deleted all of so it. So I've implemented a bunch of little niche things from Love Island. I swear like half of my friends don't even watch Love Island, but it's for the girls that get it, okay? So for the playlist, I obviously have like all of our music and stuff, but in the in-between, I put clips of the Love Island text noise so that every time we hear it, we're gonna be like, of course, text. And then there's also the Love Island theme song a bunch of times on the playlist and it'll just be on shuffle. So every time we hear the Love Island theme song, we have to take a sip. So we're making it like this whole thing. I even bought, oh, I don't know where it is, let me see. So I bought a bunch of these, they were like eight bucks. And honestly, we'll reuse them for parties to come, but <laughs> this is like literally straight out of Love Island. So I got one that says love. I got another one that's a heart and then a little wine glass and then we got the lips. But then most importantly, this would not be a Love Island party without a confessional. So I bought this off of Amazon as well. And I'm gonna put this somewhere that way people can like film they're confessionals and it's basically just like a beachy backdrop like in the show so we're gonna put that up there and everybody can record something that they want to say so this has to go upstairs pretty much it for now i'm gonna spend all day cleaning and setting up and i just wanted to take you guys along we're gonna get back in the vlog game and i figured what better thing to vlog and document than this iconic love island birthday party that is about to happen okay i have my playlist here let me just show you guys so i have all of these like random songs on of course i had to put like all the random music that they put on the show Jax Jones remix and so basically when this song ends we're all gonna hear and once you hear this so instead of Casa More we have Casa Trenta and it's above our little bar cart here and then Netta no one loves a balloon arch more than Netta so she created this little archway and we have all the sayings can't wait for everybody to see these these were so much fun to make i can't believe i've never used my cricut before oh my god how could i forget to turn on our neon lights look how perfect they are these are the ones that i got on amazon they are just so love island in every way as much as i love throwing a party having a party it gives me so much anxiety like i haven't eaten all day because i'm just so anxious i just door dashed some jersey mics because i have literally no time to go out whatsoever carbs need to be had or Terrible things will happen later. Mmm. Now, oh, Jersey Mike just hits the spot. Fuck, oh, that's good. Oh my god. I also got these little pom poms. Make fake mics. I'm literally just gonna like put a USB, like a black USB around my neck and glue this little pom pom on just like the mics on Love Island. Babes, it's all in the details. Like this best dollar fifty I've ever spent. So everyone's gonna get a little fake mic buzz. But our friends who are coming over earlier are gonna help us set up. We're gonna make a little um love island cocktail i named it bombshell booze so we're gonna do that i have this like leftover smirnoff <laughs> raspberry smirnoff from the holidays i don't even know why i have this we never drink this but i'm gonna just mix this with like pink lemonade or something and call it bombshell booze because why not i had like leftover poster board from i don't even know what but i did bombshell booze and i'm just gonna like tape that onto the drink dispenser like guys the details our detailing like this is the best i said this about our last party but this is probably our best work yet okay we're doing decent ish on time it's 7 27 and friends are coming over in 30 minutes and i'm not ready of course they're the kind of friends that i just don't care if they see me this chaotic so we're gonna get ready as fast as we can the skin is not giving right now so we're gonna have to do some full coverage shit and anytime i want my makeup to stay this the power grip oh my god it's so good i started using the nice cinnamide one makes your skin like really tacky and it like really sticks the makeup on the oh by the way outfit check you can't really see it this is the fit let me flip you guys around this is the fit it's this princess poly set that i've had for a really long time it's super cute it's giving like recoupling night fire pit energy and then i'm gonna wear it with some like lime green heels which i think are super cute and then i'm gonna do a slick back pony or bun because i also feel like that's very Love Island. I think my camera might die in the process of this, but we're gonna film as much as we can. I have another battery charging, but okay. Anyway, primer. Oh, I gotta wax up my other brow. 
I'm literally exasperated. I don't know what is wrong with me. I'm so out of shape. I've been doing this thing where I just put all the makeup I want to use in this bin from my like big makeup drawers just so I can like try new things every now and then. I feel like every time I try to fill my makeup too, I like skip a step or I do something wrong. But let's see. I'm gonna try to spot cover. Oh my God, there's like just so much going on on my face right now. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then contour. I can't find my Rare Beauty bronzer, I'm so sad. But I've been using my other favorite. This one is the Fenty Matchsticks. <gasps> is the fridge open? Ugh, I can hear the fridge beeping, fuck me. All right, I guess I will do this and then run down and shut it. And then we'll come up and blend. Hopefully no one comes to the door like this because <laughs> this is why I can't do makeup videos because I just get so concentrated and then I like forget what I'm doing. Oh, I feel like I need to drink more water. Where is my water? I can't, I've lost my water bottle like seven times in this vlog. Oh my gosh, I also have to show you guys the confessional. <laughs> the confessional. Oh my God, I'm not even drunk yet. The conf oh, this pimple. Mm -mm. The confessional is insane, you guys. Like it looks so good. Been with her and I don't want to do fake lashes. I just haven't been into a lash recently like i don't know what it is like i don't know why i used to wear such crazy heavy lashes like no shade to anyone who does but for me personally i just feel like it weighs my eyes down a lot and oh i'm vlogging come in here but i don't know why whenever i wear like heavy eyelashes i just feel like it ages me so much now that we're 30 <laughs> we gotta keep it young Ned's is here! Wow, it looks like a ratchet. This is not what I'm wearing to the party, guys. I just got home from work. <laughs> slay. She's still slay. And her skin's dressed. Okay, I'm gonna get right. Okay. Doesn't the confessional look so I good? I was gonna say that looks Oh my god, it looks so insane. Good. I've been mixing this clear baby blush. These two. Joy and Grace. I think I put way too much. Usually I put a lot, but since I'm mixing, I just like did way too many dots. We'll tone it out, don't worry. I always feel like there's so much pressure when you hoax because you have to like talk to everybody. And I have a lot of friends in different like not clicks but just friend groups and not everyone knows each other so we always feel the need to like break the ice or play a game or something like that and it's just like a lot of pressure to make everyone mesh everyone gets along it's just like kind of awkward you know like when you're at a party and you don't know everybody but i feel like by now a lot of people know each other but it's always kind of weird in the beginning i'm just gonna do my tease on a little bit i'm so excited for everyone to see the decor especially all my friends that like actually watch it the people who are coming over early I think they all watch it, so I'm gonna get the perfect first impression from all of them. I'm so excited for them to see everything. I'm pretty sure this is expired, but I don't care. I love it so much. I just found it again. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It's from um, Cover FX in the shade Sun Kiss Bronze. And it has like a little like bronzy highlight on it as well. I feel like I need to do something crazy. Ooh. Right well, I think we're doing the little Wait, I like Cinderella. Yet. You're giving Olivia from Love Island right now. Oh my gosh, am I? Yeah. Here's what are you doing with your makeup? Are you doing anything crazy? Nope. Cause I'm gonna do a crazy. I was just telling the vlog that I just can't be bothered. I'm doing a crazy laugh. Oh! I could never. That was so fast. You guys, I wish that was on camera. Netta just did her wings so fast. Hair? Should I do high or low? I've been doing low recently. Oh. Yeah, no, I do like I do like low, honestly. I was okay. gonna say low. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like no, a I slick back is so love island. I think so too. And I think it's kinda low. Also. I also oh my god, look what I found. Oh. My Kristen S. pomade. This was missing forever, you guys. This is like one of my favorite pomades. Okay. I'm gonna go do my hair real quickly. I don't really see pink lemonade though. They don't make so pink lemonade. I like any pink lemonade. You want like raspberry or like strawberry? No, it doesn't need to be like, isn't it just like flat, like colored pink? Yeah, I get raspberry because the vodka is ras the ra vodka's raspberry. Alright, fine, I'll get behind this like. Yeah. Uh, is the stuff. What is everyone's ETA? It's 802. Guys, I did pretty good. Okay. She slid. Okay. Well, you guys genuinely look at Netta's mic. How are we on? I'm about to slow mo this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so 
Cheers, Marks. I'm gonna make sure I'm the producer, Nata Parangi. I will make sure I get all the shots here, Allie. Okay. <laughs> Hi, okay, so the party was so much fun. I don't really know how much vlog footage we got, but one of my friends, Michael, like just kept taking my vlog camera, so I think there's just like a bunch of random shots. Um we'll see but the party was so much fun and it's been a few days i actually did not get hung over but i did throw up so i don't know if that all balances out but i'm about to go get my nails done i severely broke this nail so bad you guys i was legitimately like crying like sobbing like a baby it hurt so bad like i don't think there's any worse or feeling than when you break your nail like your fake nail on your nail bed oh my god it is literally the worst pain and it kind of healed a little bit i ended up taking it off because it was just like hanging by a thread so hopefully it doesn't hurt too bad getting a new one today um we leave for miami in two days i'm so excited so i have to go do that i already got my hair done last week the vacation prep is starting i'm so excited i'm running a little bit late so i will take you guys along um to my new appointment so you guys kathy slayed i forgot to vlog everything because your girl's hands were a little preoccupied. Okay. Came back home. The nails came out so slay. I'm obsessed with them. I think I'll definitely be happy with these in the long run. I just get annoyed when my hands are like too colorful. But now I'm planning some outfits for Miami. I just got the skirt in from Urban Outfitters and I'm trying to figure out what I want to pair with it. I really wanted to do like, I had a vision of like a mesh top or something i just feel like it would look really good with black and then black heels but if it's perfectly it's perfectly low rise and it was on super sale so i'll link it down below for you guys just in case it's still available but i feel like this is definitely a top contender i'm gonna try to find a top in my closet that already goes with it so i do have a black mesh bodysuit that i literally have not worn in years but i kept just in case like i needed it for something but i don't want to wear it as a bodysuit i want it as a crop top so i'm gonna try cutting it i feel like it might curl up weird but we're gonna try all right this is the black mesh bodysuit had this for like i want to say like seven years or something like that i used to wear it all the time but i don't know i just like haven't really been gravitating towards it but i feel like i would wear it more if it was cropped i feel like honestly that's a pretty good length this is so cute i don't know if you can really tell how mesh it is like how see-through it is but i think it's so cute it's definitely a lot more see-through in person but i'm wearing like a whole black bra with it okay so we went a little crazy shopping for our <laughs> some last minute things today steven's trying on his new shoes in the back. um it was mainly steven but i got a few things i got some new shoes so i got these at aldo i've been looking for i don't have any pumps literally at all like all of my shoes are either like a wedge or an open toe shoe and i like a closed toe shoe just so that I, I don't have to like worry about my toes being painted. But I got these. I think they're so cute. And I feel like this would be really cute with like jeans for like a casual-ish going out night like outside of Miami. So I got these and I wanted them originally also in black. But they didn't have them in my size. So got these and they have like a little plush on the inside. And I might wear that with the outfit that I showed you guys from yesterday. Oh, thank you. Then I found these at Nordstrom Rack, which is... Just like a basic black pump, which I also don't have. I just feel like these are just, especially the black one, really good staples to have, again, outside of Miami. I just need like a good going out shoe that's not a boot because I always wear a booty or a tall boot and these ones are just perfect. They're both really comfortable too. I think I'm gonna like walk around and break them in a little bit. Um, but they're both pretty comfortable for what they are. I'm not used to walking in like a pump. Oh, I also went to Sephora. I needed to get some stuff. I got a restock of the Summer Fridays SPF. I just really like this one and my other one's like almost out so I got a new one for this weekend and then at the last minute the minis they always get me. I already have so many minis so usually when we go on trips I use all the minis that I get in PR but I really wanted to try this. This is the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Everyone says that this stuff is like amazing so I got the little mini to try it out this weekend because I've been super oily and especially with like the Florida humidity. I just want like all the makeup to stay on at all times. I got this in the mail 
from Urban. It's from the Sydney Sweeney Frankie's Bikini line. I don't know what I did with the top. I love like the little beading on it and it's pretty cheeky, but I love this. It's officially my birthday. We are going to Miami tonight and we're about to go to Chick-fil-A right now because I don't feel like cooking breakfast and I'm about to get all my free treats if you know what i mean we're gonna go to starbucks i'm gonna go crumble later today i think you get a free cookie and then we have to clean pack and are going to miami i'm so excited um we don't land until like 9 p.m we're at starbucks right now and there's something about i don't know if you guys ever experienced this but i feel like every time i get a free drink every time it's free it doesn't it doesn't taste good and like they make it bad and then it's a waste of a free drink Fingers crossed though, that this drink is actually good. Don't like sneaky shit that you do. Oh, Annette's looks fire. Watch out, the top is kind of sketchy. Okay, taste test, let's see if the birthday drink's actually good. Mm. Yeah, birthday drink! Okay, we are self tuning. I am just gonna let this marinate <laughs> while i'm on the plane i'm doing this a few hours before our flight i really want it to soak in and develop nice and deep just rinse it off when i get there i think i'm also going to go to the airport and like full hair and makeup just to save some time because we don't get into like nine and our reservation i made it for 11 just to give us some extra time and we're not rushing um we're probably gonna eat dinner before then anyway and just go grab some drinks but i just want to make sure that everyone is not rushing and feeling like they need to be ready by a certain time because that is just like the worst feeling. But of course, I'm using Tenologist and it's an hour express tan, but I just wanna leave it on a little bit longer. And we have a boat day tomorrow, so I'm gonna be so nice and bronze for that. <laughs> okay, we were $12 each, so I didn't get them. But I did finish them on, you know, the Miami vlog starts now. Let's go. The last time I tried to vlog in Miami, my camera broke. So, A4. <laughs> Happy birthday, bitch. Miami. I need a drink. Yeah, you need to drink. Today we're having a little girl. Guys, Not yeah. all. We had yeah. a boat. We had a boat day. Oh, so wait. what's your drunk Audrey? We got pre pray. Pre pray. Pre pray. What's yours? I don't well, have. Well, one. Who are you? Crystal. Crystal. Really? You yeah. Know. With a K. <gasps> Do you want me to be poor? Be oh honest. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want me to be poor? <laughs> don't tell me. Danger flight. Danger <laughs> flight. <laughs> you to be 100% with your weekend. Was, yeah. I want you to feel spending. like you've got your money's worth. 100% percent you got spending. your money's worth, you've had a good time. Babes, I feel that way fucking today. <laughs> Bitch. Miami, bitch. First of all. First of all. What she said. Exactly. What said, what said. Period. Look at this woman. Look at this woman. Oh, she's giving face. She's giving body. She's giving relaxed. She's giving like everything we've ever needed. A hermit crab today. What? Yeah, it was gorgeous. But right now, me, also made me throw it back into the ocean. What the fuck are you talking about? Why didn't you show me? I tried. He was like, you, you have to give it back to the water. What the fuck? 
fuck are you talking about? Shell. Shell. It was a perfect shell. She opened it. It had an eyeball. And yeah, it was like it was like twitching out at me. It was a hermit crab. Yeah. So it was like pearl vibes. Mate. In the third grade, I had 30 hermit okay. crabs. My dad did a hermit crab racing at the bar. Are we trauma dumping? And I called them all breeze. Yeah, it's, it's it all Meta's villain story, villain origin story story. It's been a long weekend. And we're on a boat again. Don't know where the vlog last caught up. But we're having a good time. Eric. If anyone needs a boat in Miami, Eric is your guy. We love Eric! We love Eric!